Hello, my name is Mr. Clay. Today I have a very special idea. I'm going to make Mario appear in the Jurassic Park. Follow along as I create this masterpiece. First, I need a small piece of tan colored clay to create Mario's head. The next step is to create two eye sockets. I need to press a bit to make sure they can hold his sparkling eyes. Mario's characteristic black mustache is next. I'm not entirely happy with it, so I'll make his nose first and then come back to adjust the mustache. I think a large, round nose will suit Mario. I'll create the mustache strands like I did with the mustache. Next, I'll work on his ears. I've already prepared them, so I just need to attach them and make some adjustments. Mario's thick black eyebrows will complete his face. The iconic brown hair is essential, so I'm meticulously crafting each hair strand as I find that hair is the most impressive feature when looking at someone. Moving on to his body, I'll need to prepare a wireframe because the clay I'm using is quite soft and could deform over time. Once I have the body, I'll create his arms. I tried making one arm by rolling and shaping, and here's the result. It's simple, isn't it? I believe that with my methods, you can easily do it too. I won't use Mario's signature outfit, because I think when he gets lost in the world of dinosaurs, he should wear an explorer's outfit like in the Jurassic Park movie. So, I've decided to create a special costume for him. I'm currently focused on creating the costume details. Adding the head to get a general overview. I chose slightly darker pants to match the shirt I made earlier. Watch how I make his pants. After completing the pants, I still feel something is missing. So I decided to make an outer jacket with plenty of pockets like the ones worn by soldiers when on jungle expeditions. I chose white hands for Mario. In fact, they're not hands but more like white gloves because if they were hands, they'd have the same skin color as his arms. Now I'll make shoes which I've already prepared. I just need to attach them to complete all the parts for Mario. One essential character in Jurassic Park is the dinosaurs. I need a larger wireframe to create the body for this ferocious dinosaur. Because of the size, it'll be twice as big as Mario, so it requires a significant amount of clay. Without this steel frame, it would easily deform. I've mixed some paint to create the mouth, but I didn't get the color quite right, so it's not exactly the right shade of pink. Next, I'll create sharp teeth for this dinosaur and attach them to the mouth. Do you think Mario can escape from this dinosaur's teeth? To create two nostrils, I've used a simple method. Next is to make the eyes. Eyes are the window to the soul, and since I'm making a fierce dinosaur, I need to create fierce-looking eyes for it. I suddenly realize I forgot to make the front legs for this dinosaur. My solution is to use a small piece of wire through the body and then cover it with clay, so I've created the front legs. I'll add some surface details to make it look more realistic and ferocious, matching the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. I'm using the same clay I used for the teeth to create sharp, clawed toes for each leg with three sharp claws on each foot. Next, I want to add a special feature to this dinosaur. I'll also add some sharp spikes along the back and to the end of the tail to increase its ferocity. The next step is to create the skin texture. 
It's simple, just using a round tool to make the skin rough, similar to what you'd find in the real world. Finally, I'll create the tongue for this creature. According to my initial idea, the work would end here, but not anymore. I believe that Mario shouldn't be alone in the world of dinosaurs. I've decided to add another character to be Mario's companion, and that character is Smurf Cat. Of course, the essential material for this character is blue clay. I've prepared the wireframe, and I'm covering it with clay to create his body and arms. The clay is soft, so I need to be careful during these steps as it's easy to deform. I'm adding some muscle definition to his arms and giving him five fingers to resemble a human. His lower body is white, so I'm attaching his legs and then shaping them to create white pants. His shoes will also be white to match the overall color scheme. After creating the lower body, I'll make his head. I've already shaped it, and now I'm adding his eyes. I've made deep eye sockets and his eyes are large to give a more lifelike appearance. I'm adding some clay around the eyes to make them look even larger and deeper. I'm also creating tiny nostrils and adding some hair details around his mouth to make it resemble the reference image. But it's not complete without Smurf Cat's iconic white mushroom-shaped hat. I'm adding some lines to give the hat more texture and make it look like a real mushroom. Finally, I'll attach the head to the body to complete this character. The next step is to create a background for these characters to interact in. I've noticed that the background color and the color of the dinosaur's skin are too similar, so I've decided to paint the background. I'm using yellow for the lower part, green for the upper part, and red to add some highlights to the top of the dinosaur's ridge. I'll also add some white to the ridge's edges to create more contrast. Oh, it's not just one dinosaur, it's three. Since Jurassic Park has many dinosaurs, I've made a few extras to place in the background. And finally, let's place Mario and Smurf Cat in the scene. Hello? Do you know Mario and Hulk? Can you guess what it would be like if Mario and Hulk were combined? Watch this video to find out. My first task is to create the base and frame for this character. Next, using clay, I will cut it into pieces to make the sculpting process easier. I'm now creating the body for this character. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Can you guess what I'm doing? That's right, I've chosen the body of Hulk, and I'm sculpting the muscles for this character. As you know, Hulk has truly impressive muscles. Moving on to creating the feet. This task requires a lot of concentration and precision. 
Next are the hands. I'm double checking the overall look, and I can see that this character still lacks the muscular lines on the body. I'm working on adding them. The next task is to create the costume for him. I've chosen Mario's costume, with the characteristic blue color. I need to add some details to make it more impressive. The next crucial task is to create the head for him, and I've chosen Mario's head. A cool black mustache. Eyes with three characteristic colors, blue, white, and black. A set of pearly white teeth, forming a bright smile. The ears are already made and just need to be attached. Next is creating the brown hair for him. Adding some lines to make it look more like hair and a mustache. After completing it, I'll return to the body of this character. The next step is to paint this character. I've chosen green for his skin tone, and I'll start painting. I'll paint from the head down to the feet. Adding a bit of a different color to highlight his muscle lines. I'll also apply a layer of glossy varnish to the eyes. Last but not least, I'm making a Mario hat for him. I'm also making a mushroom for him to hold in his hand. And here is my masterpiece. Hello, my name is Mr. Clay. In this video, I will tell you a story about Sonic and Mario, legends from the forgotten hidden world. The story begins in a hidden world beneath the Green Hill Zone and Mushroom Kingdom, a world known as Athoria. Iathoria is unlike any other world, protected by a source of power called the Heart of Harmony, an energy source upon which the entire world depends. The Heart of Harmony represents balance and harmony within Athoria, and it contains the ability to create heroes to protect the world. Mario and Sonic are no one else. They are two legends from Athoria. 
They were sent from the heart of Harmony to protect Athoria from the threat of imbalance and conflict. But after a long time, everything changed. A powerful, malevolent force named Exaldor appeared, and he wanted to use the power of the heart of Harmony to dominate Athoria. Exaldor created a dark universe, and the power of the heart of Harmony was extinguished. Mario and Sonic were separated and lost, with no memory of their past. They were submerged in the world they had long protected. Some time later, Mario found himself in the Mushroom Kingdom and Sonic found himself in Green Hill Zone, but they no longer remembered Athoria or their mission. They became famous heroes in their respective worlds, but they had forgotten their origins. However, their worlds began to be invaded by Exaldor and his dark universe. Mario and Sonic had to face this threat and remember their mission. They embarked on a challenging journey to rediscover their origins and restore the Heart of Harmony to stop Axeldor and save Athoria from destruction. Their journey took them through various lands, and they met intriguing characters, some of whom hailed from their past in Athoria. Gradually, they recalled their mission and grew stronger. Along the way, they faced difficulties, challenges, and sacrifices. In the end, after arduous tasks and fierce battles, Mario and Sonic restored the Heart of Harmony and defeated Exaldor, putting an end to the invasion from the Dark Universe. They decided to return to Athoria to protect their world and promote balance and harmony once more. The unity of Mario and Sonic defeated destruction and conflict, and they rediscovered their origins finding a greater purpose in the mysterious world of Athoria. When memories and power gradually returned, Mario and Sonic understood their ultimate mission, to restore the Heart of Harmony in Athoria. This required them to collect the scattered fragments of the heart across different lands and dimensions. Their journey led them to unique landscapes and bizarre worlds, each with its own challenges and puzzles. They encountered allies ready to join them and determined foes trying to thwart their mission. Throughout their journey, the friendship between Mario and Sonic grew stronger. They discovered their true strengths and how to harmoniously combine them. Mario controlled fire and water, complementing Sonic's exceptional speed and flexibility. They learned to work seamlessly together, mastering new abilities and techniques. As they gathered the pieces of the Heart of Harmony, they realized that the Heart itself had chosen them as its champions. The heart bestowed upon them even greater power, essential for the final showdown with Zaldor. With their newfound strength, they ventured into the dark universe that Zaldor had created. The fierce battle against Exaldor presented numerous challenges. Zaldor used the dark power of the universe to test Mario and Sonic, examining their skill, teamwork, and determination. Yet. The unity of Mario and Sonic proved to be their greatest weapon. Together, they shattered Exaldor's defenses and weakened his control over the Dark Universe. In the end, Sonic delivered the final blow, using the power of the Heart of Harmony to defeat Exaldor and restore balance to Athoria. The Dark Universe began to disintegrate, and the Heart of Harmony radiated with brilliant energy. Athoria was saved, and its heroes had fulfilled their mission. Mario and Sonic returned to their own worlds, their friendship enduring and unbreakable. They not only rediscovered their origins, but also forged an eternal bond. As they looked upon the heart of harmony shining with radiant energy, they knew that they would forever be legends of Athoria, where harmony, balance, and unity would thrive once more. This marked the conclusion of their grand journey, leaving behind an inspiring legacy for generations to come.